back to a new video. This one is a bit of a food differences video. This was also another request from Instagram, so we thought we'd just put something together quickly for you because we know you love the differences videos and uh, thought it'd just be interesting. Number one is obviously with it being Australia, there is a big seafood culture here, which obviously we don't have back in the UK. So wherever you go, I think we'll just use the cod back in England, whereas here we've got barramundis and I don't really know a lot of fish, but. Yeah, and when you go to like fish and chip shops, it's not like a fish and chip shop in the UK. It's like proper fresh fish displayed on the counter. You pick your own. Pick your fish, yeah. Pick, point at it and then they fry it for you. <laughs> yeah, and so you can't really just go to the chip shop and order a portion of chips. Like, they expect you to order a proper fish meal. Yeah. The sauces and condiments, when you order your food, a lot of it is kind of, you have to pay for it separately, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so we're really used to, in the UK if you order a meal when your meal comes someone says to you would you like any sauces with your meal or they're on the table so normally ketchup mayo vinegar yeah. but here sometimes you pretty much have to pay for additional sauces and stuff out which is a bit odd obviously you still got like the McDonald's stuff and Burger King's I think uh, free mm, I think like ketchup and maybe barbecue sauce but if you want anything else you have to pay so yeah that was just a bit surprising to us yeah. so uh, the third one is McDonald's or Macca's over here so we kind of noticed while I was looking online on the online menus and there's a lot more selection over here compared to England and in America America is not great selection of burgers and stuff like that whereas here you've got loads of different ones so yeah that's uh, quite handy if you're a fan of burgers yeah and the kids are happy because they serve breakfast and maccas until half past 11 here and then they serve extended breakfast all day so you can literally get a hash brown whatever time of the day Always good to put on your burgers, little top tip for you. So another thing we found interesting here is that there's really no tipping culture, which is completely different from America where tips are like 20% or up to 20% of your total meal and completely sort of expected that you pay that tip. And in England, it's becoming also more common. You go to like a nice restaurant, they will put on a... Or one yeah, I can't remember what they call it. Discretionary. Just Discretionary, that's, that's it. So they put it on, they add it to your bill, and if you want it taken off, you have to ask, which we don't do, I guess. <laughs> Unless it's been absolutely terrible service, we wouldn't do that. But I are forced to ask them to take it off if you don't want to pay it. And here, nobody expects to be tipped. Just the whole after, after they've served you your food as well. I think a few restaurants, like you get like the higher end market, and they kind of ask you how your meal is, don't they? Like, but some would just be like, Again, there's your food, and then if you've got a problem, you got to point yourself up to the bar and someone. But it also, you know, in the UK, like, I think, I don't know what it's like over here, but for, like, parties over six people, they do add 10%. No matter what, do they? Yeah. And tip. But I think I think that happens a lot in the UK. Yeah. It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely no expected tipping. I think, obviously, the wages must be in relation. I think in, the, in America, the wages are low. And we speak to someone and they were saying that when the tips that you do give, it's got to be shared between the chef and someone else. It's not just like the frontline worker who's clearing the tables, it's mm. everyone kind of gets a share of your tip. But yeah, they have fair work and fair work makes sure that people in that industry are paid fairly according to their age and the days and the hours that they work and also that they're getting mandatory pay increases each year. So yeah, potentially that's why. So yeah, interesting. So the next one that we also found a bit funny is that they seem to be very, again, I don't know what the word is, but whereas in England, if there was like a kid or junior mill, if you try and order a junior or kid mill and they don't think that your child is of age to have it, they will come out and tell you that you can't have it. And um, if you got like fussy kids like ours, oh, only like <laughs> something on the kids menu like chicken nuggets and stuff like that yeah exactly so sometimes chicken nuggets won't be on the adults menu or mac and cheese for example and our kids don't want anything else off of the adult menu they only want what's on the kids menu but we've come across more than one establishment here that seemed to get very funny about it 
which is a shame because yeah, especially when you've got a, a fussy kid that wants to come out and there's nothing on the menu she likes. It's just like, well, okay, we're, we're still paying for it. It's different if it was like, you had a table full of adults and you had all that chicken nugget meal. Yeah, you can understand. A bit of a challenge there, but... Yeah, like it's the same size portion as you would give to a kid and we're paying the same price, so I, I don't really see what the problem is. But definitely, if you're coming here on holiday or to stay, just be aware of that. If you've got fussy kids too, they if they're too old or look too old, they may not be able to order off the menu and if you try the old trick of yes they are that age sometimes we've had back from the server well i don't believe that yeah so our last one is salt and vinegar so back in the uk there's pretty much salt and vinegar on everything you go to a chip shop salt and vinegar literally your eyes are stinging because they literally chuck half a bottle of vinegar on over here I haven't really seen vinegar to be fair, I feel. Not, no. don't think you've asked for it. Plus, chicken salt. Chicken salt for me is a, a winner, no matter what. You're not much of a fan, are you? I'm just what? going off of chicken salt. I've had a lot of chicken salt in the last 12 months, and I am missing vinegar. Yeah, so back in the, was it Saracens? An old Saracen vinegar. Yeah, back in the, the chip shop days of, yeah, just chucking loads of it on. You don't get it over here. I think it just seems to be salt. That is the main. Yeah, we have seen other YouTubers who have taken to taking their condiments and sauces out with them to restaurants. <laughs> uh, so maybe I need to start carrying a bottle of vinegar in my handbag. You don't want that tip, really. Imagine, imagine your fingers and purse thinking of vinegar. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. We just uh, thought we'd give you some differences for fun. We'll show you our boat as well in the background. <laughs> We're just about to get on it. Yeah, just the wind's out, so we're going to end. Thank you for following, thank you for watching, and... See you in the next one. Bye.